Hey guys, welcome to Living Survival. Today I'm going to show you three different stoves from Bushcraft Essentials, including this little guy, the Bushcraft Micro. So stick with me. Alright guys, so the three stoves I'm going to show you today are all from Bushcraft Essentials. They're made in Germany, and they're awesome little biofuel stoves. I have the Bushbox Ultralight, which is a super lightweight, minimalist cooking stove. I have the Bushbox Micro Pocket which is the tiniest wood stove I've ever seen. It fits down into any pocket really easily, so we're going to check that out. And then I also have the Bush Box Original, which is a great all-around biofuel stove. So the Bush Box Micro Pocket is a tiny little stove, probably one of the tiniest little stoves I've ever seen. It'll easily fit down into a pocket or a wallet, and they've also made the holes so that you can line them all up, so you can run a small carabiner through there and hook it to the side of your pack, which is pretty cool setup is pretty simple you have your sides a couple trivets and the bottom plate you just take three of the sides and stick in your bottom plate And then the other side goes on. Just like so. And then your trivets just go together and sit on the top just like that. Now I've seen some people wire these, run a wire around to keep this on. But otherwise, setup is a cinch on that one. Now next up is the Bush Box Pocket. This one comes in a nice stuff sack that'll keep your rest of your bag from getting dirty after you've used it. Comes with pretty much the same parts as the Micro. You've got a grill plate, an ash pan, four sides, and two trivets. Setup is super easy on this as well. You just take your sides, and your front and back. Pop in your ash pan and your grill plate. Make sure your holes are all lined up. easily snaps right together. So you have the hole for feeding, you have the grill plate, and then you have your ash pan. Then on these trivets, they are adjustable two ways. So you can place them on there like that, and you'll have a little bit of a rise. So if you want to put like a bigger pot that covers the opening, you'll still have a little bit of space there. Or if you're just going to use a cup, you can flip them around and the trivets will go flush. So there is an additional slot here that will fit and accommodate most alcohol burners, which is nice and you can move the grill plate up as well. So the third one I have here is the ultralight, the Bush Box ultralight. It'll also accept wood, an alcohol burner, or hexamine tablets. It's super thin stainless steel and super lightweight, weighing only 2.5 ounces. The micro weighs 2.7 ounces, so this is actually lighter than that. It comes with a trivet for the top, an ash pan, a grill plate, and then three sides. This one is also very easy to put together. Just take your sides. Stick in the grill plate. 
you kind of have to pinch this one as you go. Throw in the ash pan. Line up your holes. And then throw on the last side. Now the really nice thing about this trivet is it doesn't just set on top, which you don't need to use if you had a larger pot. You could set it up on here and you'd still have that spacing for the airflow. But this trivet is nice because it locks the whole thing together, makes it more solid. So you just slip it in to the slots like that and it locks right in and it makes the whole stove much more solid. Prices are 35 for the ultralight, 30 for the regular bush box pocket, and 20 for the micro pocket. So let's go ahead and fire these things up. I'm just going to go ahead and use a tinder quick to get this going. Very easy to get started. Go ahead and throw the trivets on the top. Like I said, you can easily put a pan on top of that, but I'm not going to cook with a pan today. We're just going to boil up some water. And this stove is very stable.
So I think we're probably boiling now. Yep. Nice rolling boil. So this is a 750 mil pot with about a maybe a cup and a half of water in it. And it boiled it up no problem. Alright, so let's move on to the Bush Box Ultralight. I'm going to use a Tinder Quick again. Now since the trivet clips on, I won't be able to really clip it once the stove gets hot. So that is one nice thing about the other stove is that you can put the trivet on later. But this should still be okay. Alright, so as you can see, my cup has cooled all the way down. This one also fits a 600 or a 750 mil pot perfectly. It also has raised edges on it too so that you could put a pan on it and it would still have the space needed for the air.
All right, so I think we're just about to a boil with the ultralight. Yep, rolling boil. Took about the same amount of time, about 10 minutes, give or take, as the regular bush box. You could get a little bit longer wood in it because of the V shape. It didn't seem to draw air quite as well, but as you can see, it burns just fine and makes a awesome stove. So, so far, very, very impressed with both these stoves. Now this micro stove is just pretty cool more than anything. And uh, you could use a hexamine tablet or a tea light to heat something up. But we're going to give it a fighting chance and we're going to see if we can use natural materials and uh, get some water to boil. Going to use a tinder quick again to get it started. Put the trivet on. And I've got a smaller cup here. We're going to fill up with some water. This is a Tokes 450 mil cup, and I don't have a top for it, so it's going to be interesting here. Seems to be staying burning really well.
All right, so it's been about a good 15 minutes and we have bubbly water and it's definitely really warm, but no boil yet. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this pan over the top to cover the top and we'll see if we can uh, get a boil that way. Well guys, I wasn't able to get the water to boil. I was able to get it almost to a boil, and if I kept going with the top on, I probably would have gotten it there, but we were well over 20 minutes, so, you know, definitely a nice little gift item, something cool that you can have as an absolute backup. It definitely will heat things up. I wouldn't count on it to purify water, you know, unless you had a smaller cup than a 450 milliliter, which is getting pretty small. So, you know, still an awesome little stove that you can stow away in your wallet or, you know, clip onto your pack for heating things up. You could definitely heat up soup with it or something like that. But I would definitely rely on these bigger stoves to boil water. Overall, I'm really impressed with all three. The two bigger ones definitely um, boiled the water fairly quickly. They were easy to feed. The triangular one is a little bit easier to get bigger wood in because you can put it all the way to the back. But both are just as easy. And the ash pan, where the ash can drop through the grate, makes it really, really nice and you can even clear it out if you needed to. They are efficient. They did burn down quite well, as you can see. Still a little bit of ash left in this one. And a little bit of ash left in this one. But they definitely did burn down fairly efficiently. I also love the fact that they're very easy to set up and they come with the cotton stuff sacks so that you don't have to get the rest of your pack all dirty after you're done using them. So I hope you guys liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments below. And as always, subscribe for more videos.